Hey guys, Ernie here. Welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Anytime Steve over at Firebox Stoves releases a new product, I'm pretty keen to check it out. I'm also pretty amazed how he always comes up with products that not only really work, but they're things that seem to have always been on my list of things I wish I had. Cooking outdoors is something that I really enjoy doing. I'm hoping to do more of that here on the channel, but prepping your food outdoors using a traditional bushcraft type knife has always been less than optimal. But fear not, Steve at Firebox has a current Kickstarter and it will be available on his website as well. The Folding Chef Knife, it's a pretty awesome design. We're gonna check it out today. We're gonna compare it to some of the other traditional bushcraft shaped knives. And I think you guys are really gonna like this product. Stay tuned, let's check it out. Over the years, one of the things I've gotten more and more into is just cooking outside. I like going out, especially when it's cool outside, starting a fire, cooking something over an open fire, and it just it's just a lot of fun, something very nostalgic about it. Now, one of the problems is prepping the food. A lot of times, traditionally, what I'll do is prep things before I go out because it's so much easier to prep your food while you're in the house and while you have access to your traditional chef knife. Traditional bushcraft knives are designed to be very robust. You want to be able to baton through wood. You want them to really take a beating. And that shape of blade and that thickness of blade in particular makes them not the best choice for prepping food. So let me show you guys what we got from Firebox and we'll try it out doing a little chopping today for lunch. So before we take a look at the new knife from Firebox, let's take a look at some kind of really common bushcraft knives that are out there. These are the kind of knives that, that I carry out in the woods and a lot of you guys probably carry too. This is the Mora Garberg. And you can see by design, it is designed with a pretty, you know, thick knife blade, okay? And that's so that, you know, you can beat the hell out of this thing. Basically, you can baton with it, you can do whatever you want. It's got very nice contour, but the thickness of the blade is an issue when you're using it for uh, cutting vegetables and stuff like that. Same thing, this is the GNS Scandi Grind from LT Wright, another awesome, awesome knife. Probably my oldest, maybe my oldest bushcraft knife, I'm not real sure. Same thing, very similar design, thick spine, the Scandinavian Grind, and as you'll see here in a second, just not as easy to use with chopping. And even something like an absolutely amazing knife, this is a jack lore knife. You can see this thing, I have a video on this, this is my pride and joy, by the way, look at that bad boy. It's got an even thicker spine, and it's great for bushcraft work, awesome Scandinavian grind, wonderful for working with wood or whatever, but it is not very handy when you're trying to cut up stuff vegetables. These thick blades, are, they're, they're terrible for chopping. Uh, they're impossible to use like a regular chef knife. You know, you'll do this kind of chopping action like this, and there's just not enough room, you know, for your fingers to fit down here for you to be able to do that effectively. So you're unable to do kind of that blade rocking that you like to do when you use a regular chef's knife. Obviously, they also don't fold very easily. Um, you can store it, but it takes up a lot of room. They're heavy, they're bulky, things like that. So not optimal at all. So let me show you guys what Steve came up with to kind of fix all these problems. This is the folding chef knife from Firebox Stove. We'll take a little bit better look at this carrying case here in a second. But this is the knife itself, okay? Very, very cool design. The dimensions folded like this are 6.25. The blade, when you open it, is five inches. The overall length is 11 inches. It weighs seven ounces. It's a really good look at this knife. The material is 10 CR 15 MOV steel. I don't know what that is, guys, but it's some kind of an alloy. And Steve talks about that basically he's trying to find an alloy that will allow for some element of protection, but also hold a very good edge. So he does recommend when you're storing this for longer times to make sure and put a little light coating of oil on it just to make sure it doesn't get any corrosion on it. You can see kind of comparing it to a traditional chef knife that there is a lot of similarity. And I think one of the things is this area right here that you're able to put your hand and you have some clearance between the bottom of the blade 
and your fingers. So you're able to go in and do kind of that classic rocking and chopping that you like to do. You can do that with this as well. Now it is not as deep, okay? It is definitely not as deep. And this is all to be able to make it into somewhat of a functional uh, you know, design, but it does allow you to do that. Your, you know, your knuckles hit, but again, you compare it to like this, it's almost impossible to do with it. it has this neoprene case, which is pretty darn cool, costs $60. A little bit of features about it. It's got a symmetrical flat grind. The blade is 0.08 inches. You can see how thin it is. Again, we'll compare it to the LT Wright GNS. You can see how different they are. It has that raised offset handle, which we just talked about. It has a pretty large one and a half inch blade height, and that allows for that safe chopping. If it's a lot smaller, it's not as safe to use. The blade shape, as I said, allows for that rocking motion to cut. It's very sturdy. Uh, one of the things that I'm really impressed about is it just does not move, guys. This thing is rock solid. When you lock it in place, you know, you don't want the blade moving around at all. Uh, and it, it does not move, and that's really, really nice. Of course, it also has the folding design, which allows you to store it away very easily. It's designed by Steve to fit inside of his uh, Ultra Cook kit, and I have one of those as well, and it fits right in there very easily inside one of those pots or pans. Carrying case is neoprene. It's very, very nice, very easy to use. You just slip it in like that and then you can just pop this over the top. It's nice that it's neoprene. It will dry very easily. It's very soft to the touch. It's not gonna harm anything. Just a really, really cool case. Y'all know that I love carrying cases here on the channel and this one is pretty cool. So another quick look, a couple of details about it. Um, we'll open it up. You can see it's got some holes back here, a little weight saving, also looks really cool. It's got firebox on here, got firebox emblem right here, which is really neat on this pivot point. It does have this spot to open it with your finger, although I will admit it's a little bit hard to do. My knife is fairly new, so it probably will get easier over time. But Steve does talk about the fact you really wanna treat this nicely. You don't wanna treat it like a bushcraft knife at all. Let me show you guys a little bit of the problems you can have cutting with the older uh, or the traditional bushcraft knives and then we'll just show you guys this thing in action. So if you take this onion, we're gonna use this GNS from uh, LT Wright and we just cut this. It's not, you can see even right there, it is almost stuck. You can force it through, but it's so thick that it has a hard time doing that. And you'll see here when I try to cut, it won't cut straight down. It's always gonna drift to one side or the other. I'll try to do this side. And it works, but it's not really comfortable in the hand. Comparing that with our firebox, really simple, slices right through. I mean, I don't know how well you can tell, but I mean, guys, it just, like butter, straight through there. That thin blade really makes a huge difference. There's our onions. Put that to the side. We'll go ahead and cut up this tomato as well. If you try to cut something like a tomato with thin slices, it just is very difficult to do. You can do it, but when you try to get these thin slices, you can see where it just doesn't work quite as well. If you get the firebox, it slices right through like nobody's business. Look at that, that is nice stuff. Even if you want to chop it up a little bit bigger, you can see how easily this goes through. Very, very nice. Go ahead and chop these up for lunch. Go ahead and finish chopping up these onions. I think I'm going to do just slices. You can see there kind of that chopping, that action, where you want to just bring it down. Works absolutely perfectly. You can get by with using one of these bushcraft knives, but if you're gonna be doing a lot of prep, you are gonna get tired of using it, okay? Just trust me, I know. Let's get a little bit of red bell pepper here. This is the kind of deal where you can do this, and it works, but if you try and you do it long enough, it's not as easy. 
it works because I'm using just the tip. But if you wanted to do it like this, like you normally would, you can't really do that with the, um, with the LT right. Last thing we're gonna do is cut up a little bit of meat. Let me get a different cutting board. And in situations like this, again, you can use this. It's just a lot more, honestly, kind of a pain in the rear. It just doesn't work as well. So if we get our, it just, and I'm gonna tell you guys, the, the LT right is pretty sharp. It's just the blade shape does not allow it to function as well as this knife from Firebox. I'm gonna go ahead and cook some lunch because I'm hungry and then we'll come back and I'll tell you all about this knife. So let's talk about this knife. As always, we're gonna talk pros and cons and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the knife itself. The standpoint of pros, it's compact. It's very easy to, to carry with you. It comes with that very nice uh, carrying case. I think it's very well done. It also just feels like a regular chef knife when you use it. When you use a lot of knives, when you do a lot of cooking, you kind of get to know what the feeling of a well-balanced chef knife is. It's kind of one of those when you know, you know things. And when you handle this product and you hold this knife, you know it's gonna work. It's super sturdy. As I showed you guys, it has no play at all in the mechanism. And yeah, I'm a sucker, as I said, a very nice carrying case. From the standpoint of cons, the only thing I could think people would say, or at least the only thing I would consider saying, is the price, it's $60. Now, I think the price is very reasonable when you compare it to traditional chef knives, a high quality chef knife, it's gonna be at least 60 bucks. This one gives you a lot more flexibility by being able to fold it down and carry it with you. As far as cons go, that's, that's all I got. Like I told you guys, to me, Steve always seems to put out great products and put out products that we've always kind of wanted. And he kind of says, look, this is what I want. He does a lot of cooking outdoors. And he said, this is what I want. And I think he probably created this product because he was tired of using other knives that are less quality, that don't work as well as a traditional chef knife. He has some experience with chef knives and has been a cook before. And he said, man, I wanna make something that's gonna work really well for people out in the woods, not just for people, but for me. And we get, we get to thankfully benefit from his desire to have this kind of knife. I absolutely assure you, the first time you hold this product, the first word that's gonna to come to mind is quality. It feels like a super high quality product, which is what you always get from Firebox. But this knife in particular, again, when you're around a lot of gear, you're around a lot of things, you test a lot of things, you just know immediately when something is good. This knife's good. I wanna thank Steve for sending me this knife. He did send it to me for free. He did not specifically ask for a review. He knows that, that I love stuff like this and he said, look, check it out. If you think it's worth making a review, do that. And I told him that I would because he's always supported my channel quite a bit. I told him I would be honest about it and honestly, I love the knife. Make sure you check out Steve's channel. I'll try to remember to leave a link down below. He does a lot more than just focus on his stoves. He does a lot of pretty awesome outdoor adventures. Recently, he made a snow cave or snow shelter, dug it out, spent the night in there, of course, along the way, cooked dinner on one of his firebox stoves. And if I remember, I think he actually used this knife in that video. So I'll try to leave a link down to that video as well down below. I wanna say very clearly, I don't have an affiliation with firebox. I'm not sponsored. I'm not a spokesperson but I do love their products. I own a lot of Firebox products and probably 80% of them I bought on my own with my own money. And in the last couple of years, Steve, has, Steve and I have had a pretty good relationship. He's a super guy. He's always supported this channel tremendously and I wanna thank him for that. And he's been nice enough to send me out gear to check out. He'll oftentimes send me stuff out before anybody else has it or when very few people have it. And I'm pretty honored to get a chance to check those things out like the Freestyle Stove. Uh, the Scout, those things came to me pretty early on. I even got some prototypes of the Scout that ended up changing a little bit and I had to go back and he sent me the, the things that ended up changing. But nonetheless, I really appreciate him sending this out. And I, I really ask you guys to go support his channel and to support his store. I think he makes great products. I think he's very innovative and I think he's, he's just the real deal. So I appreciate his support of this channel. He does have a Kickstarter going on. And I noticed something pretty awesome about the Kickstarter. If you're looking for something else from Firebox, if you want one of their uh, nanos, titanium nanos, one of their larger five inches, 
you can add on any stove, pretty much any product you want to the Kickstarter for this knife at a 15% discount. So if you want that titanium five inch and you've always kind of been like, eh, I don't really want to pay full price. Look, you can get it for 15% off right now to the end of the Kickstarter. I'll leave a link down below to the Kickstarter. Once the Kickstarter is closed, then you're out of luck, but this video is going to be up for a long time. So if you've gotten this far and you click on that link down below and it's closed, go to fireboxstove.com. You can pick one up there. This is a little bit of a bonus video this week. I'm releasing it not on a Friday. I just wanted to get it out for you guys because Steve did send me this knife and I wanted to put it out there and kind of promote his Kickstarter. Like I said, I'm not an official sponsor or anything, but you know, he's helped this channel out a great deal and I do like his products. A lot of you guys seem to like it as well. So do me a favor, click on one of those links down below, pick up one of these chef's knives, pick up one of the other stoves. I think just supporting somebody like Steve, uh, he's got some pretty awesome things planned. I know, uh, check out their, their website. He's got an awesome, um, article about him on outside magazine. Just a really neat guy, so check that out. Do me a favor, guys, if you like the video, hit the subscription button down below. Subscribing to the channel is kind of the biggest thing that I ask for you guys. I don't ask for money, I don't have a Patreon, I don't do that stuff, just hit the subscription button. Really helps this channel grow. If you like the video, hit the little thumbs up. If you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the notification bell, that would be cool. More than anything, I ask you to hit that subscription button. I'm enjoying some time here by myself. It's nice, it is beautiful here in Louisiana. It's kind of like that little time of year when everything seems perfect outside. The weather's perfect. There's not a cloud in the sky. It hasn't been out one in the sky all weekend. So anyway, as always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Go check out the Kickstarter from Firebox Stove for this folding chef knife. And stay tuned for more videos, guys. Thanks for watching.